The first thing that struck us was that the vast majority of kids actually start kindergarten knowing the very basics in terms of numbers and geometric shapes. Um, so 95% of kids kind of have a pretty good sense of the numbers one through 10 in terms of being able to identify them, identify them and being able to count. Um, so there's a very, very small proportion of children who enter school without those very basic math skills. Um, and the second piece that we found uh, that kind of relates to that is that that is where those very basics are where teachers report spending the majority of their time when they're teaching math to kindergartners. It may be because the teachers are kind of sticking with curricula that they're given, right, kind of standards that they're expected to teach. It may be that they're, and this is something we wish we could get at better with our data, it may be that they're teaching to the bottom, right? There's a kid in my class who doesn't know this, and I'm going to stay here until he or she does. Um, the, the, to the extent that we can answer, try to answer that question, it doesn't look like that's the reason, but we can't answer it perfectly. Um, and third, um, we know that most kindergarten teachers, and I cannot, certainly can't speak for all of them, don't necessarily go into teaching kindergarten because they love to teach mathematics, um, right? And we think of kindergarten as being very much about literacy, and we know that a lot more time is spent on reading and literacy in kindergarten than mathematics. Um, so all of these reasons may play a part in why we see a really heavy emphasis on the basics. For that very small proportion of kids, those 5% of kids who come into school not yet having mastered these very basic, basic math ideas, um, exposure to those basics is helpful. We see them having larger gains in math as a result of that exposure. Um, but for, the, you know, for that 95%, the time spent on the basics doesn't seem to be helpful, and the time on advanced content, things like addition and subtraction, appears to be good for the 95% and not bad for the 5%. So we don't see any evidence of that advanced content hurting anyone. We have a much, uh, much more substantial kind of infrastructure around teaching children how to read. We have some very, very solid ideas about um, different several different effective methods for teaching reading. And while we have fantastic research on math and math learning, it's not clear to me that that's making its way into the classroom in the same way. There's work that, um, that suggests that your math knowledge at school entry is extremely predictive um, of your later outcomes, right? So, so the, the math that you know at kindergarten not only predicts how well you'll do in math at eighth grade, um, it also predicts how well you'll do in reading in eighth grade. 